Batman just received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. I think that's super cool. I think it's amazing. He's now one of the only fictional characters to have a star and you know, some people, I keep saying some people in videos and then people are like, no one's mad about this. People aren't saying that. Look it up, they're saying it, okay? Some people are like, what the heck? That's kind of strange. He doesn't deserve it. Why are we giving fictional characters, you know, stars on Hollywood Walk of Fame? That's supposed to be meant for famous people like uh, Bill Cosby. People who, you know, society actually cares about who they actually love. These are the characters who currently have a star, the fictional, you know, characters. And uh, let's go, let's go on a quick, you know, jot through if they deserve it more than Batman. Mickey Mouse deserves it more than Batman. Bugs Bunny deserves it more than Batman. Snow White, I will, I'm gonna say no, if I'm being quite frankly, Snow White doesn't quite have the cultural appeal that Batman does. Sure, she might have back in the day, but if we're talking cross generational talents, I gotta give it to my boy Batman. Woody Woodpecker absolutely does not deserve it more than Batman, but Big Bird, I will probably say does. The Simpsons, I'm cool with it. Um, more than Batman, it's close. The Rugrats, I'm gonna say no. I think that's a pretty easy one, they don't. Kermit the Frog, yes, he deserves it. Godzilla, yes, he deserves it more. Donald Duck, that's a tough one. I'm gonna say no though. I'm, I'm just saying, no, Goofy better not have one. Goofy definitely does, doesn't deserve one more than Batman. Winnie the Pooh, uh, that checks out. Shrek, um, uh, it's close. I'm gonna say no. Tinkerbell, yes. The Muppets, yes. Snoopy, probably yes. Just again, cross-generational. The guy's putting up good numbers. Minnie Mouse, I'm gonna go out and say it. I'm gonna say no. Ah, okay, she does, she does. Okay, I'm tripping, I'm tripping. She does, she does. Why do people want to neglect the cultural significance and importance of Batman? Batman is a character who has arguably been the most iconic and relevant superhero since probably the Michael Keaton era days, even going past that too, obviously the Dark Knight trilogy passed obviously to now, we're still getting Batman films. In the Robert Pattinson films, we're gonna have another franchise startup in the James Gunn universe. We just had the DCEU. Batman is a character who has probably taken the least amount of breaks. We've probably gone, you know, a bare minimum of like four or five years without seeing the character on screen. He's so iconic. That's not even talking about the dude's villains. If we're talking about Joker, the most iconic supervillain of all time by a landslide, by a landslide. The Joker is probably more iconic than a lot of other superheroes. In fact, I'd say the Joker is probably like a top five most iconic superhero character in general. Probably I put Batman above him, Superman, Wonder Woman, maybe Spider- Spider-Man for sure. Spider-Man, maybe the Hulk? That's kind of it, dude. That's kind of it. Did I say Wonder Woman? I said Wonder Woman. Well, I, me I meant to. I meant to. Why would Batman not deserve a character? Why would you not want him to have a star? It doesn't affect your life at all. It's like, you walk past the street, you're going to the store, you see the Batman star, you're like, what the fuck, dude? What the fuck? That little Batman, that pisses me off. He doesn't deserve it. He doesn't deserve it. Take the star off the street. That's messed up. He's taking a valuable spot on the side of the road. We could have given that to Diddy. <laughs> Life's not fair. I think it's just fun. I think it's just a fun idea, you know? Hollywood is built on these fictional characters, on movie characters. Why would you not give a few to the select fictional characters who, you know, have had the most impact, who have had the most impact on film and just filmmakers in general. Let's talk about Christopher Nolan and his Batman trilogy and how much that has inspired. So much of modern day superheroes and just modern day filmmaking in general has been based on what Christopher Nolan did, has been inspired by that, by the work of him and Christian Bale and Heath Ledger and all of these iconic things, Gary Oldman's Commissioner Gordon, all of these iconic, memorable things about that. Why? Why would you not want to honor that? There's a freaking big Batman statue already in front of an AMC somewhere in Los Angeles. Why would you not be okay with the star? And I know most people are probably cool with it. It's just a select few, but still, it's just the idea that people wouldn't be okay with this. Very strange to me. Like I said, why you hating? Why you hating, bro? Anyways, that's the video. If this video gets uh, a hundred likes, I will go and I'll find the Batman star and I'll freaking floss on it. I won't, I won't do that. I don't wanna make false promises to you. My bad, I shouldn't. That's a good sign to end the video.
Hit subscribe though. If you can still this, hit, hit subscribe though. Do that.